about a way to just visualize that five number summary just really quickly. Um, it's going to be called a box plot. It's also called a box and whiskers plot. It's called box and whiskers because oftentimes there's a box, right? It could also be on its side like this with whiskers on it. Right? And oftentimes this box is split up somewhere in between. Not necessarily just in the middle, but, but just somewhere like that. Right? Um, this box is often aligned with an axis of values of your variable. Right? And then your Q1 is on the low end. Right? So Q1 is on the low end. Q3 is on the high end. Those are the sort of boundaries of that box. The line in the middle is the median. And the whiskers end at the minimum value and the maximum value. Right? So that's how you decipher a box plot. Now, it could also be on its side like this. right? And in this case, the values would go like this. And once again, you would have Q1, Q3, the median, the minimum, and the maximum. Right? And so it, does, it sort of doesn't matter whether it's on this axis or this axis. Um, but what you do have to know is it should, the box should be in alignment with the values. Right? All right. So, um, let's do an example box plot here just by hand, right? Um, here's an example set. We can easily see what the minimum and the maximum is. So we already know that. Let's find out what the median is. So the median should be right here. So that should be 30, right? Because what I'm going to do is add 28 and 32 and divide by 2. Just find the average of those two numbers. And that's 30. And visually, I just think of it as what's in the middle of 28 and 32. And then let's find uh, Q1 and Q3. So what's in between here and here? That's 20. Wait. Oh, it should be, actually, I miscounted. All right, so we count the 18 as the border, the 13, 30 as the border, so each side gets sort of two. So the, the um, Q, Q1 is right in here, so that should be 22. And here, 30 is the border, 55, so it should be right here. Here's Q3, and that should be about 36.5. that right? About 1.5 from there, 1.5. Okay, so there we go. We have our five numbers. Now we just need to plot them. I'm going to put it on a, um, on, on a horizontal axis just because I have the room for it. Um, and I know that 18 will be on one side of it and 55 will be on the other side of it. So here I'll put my values. We could pretend this stands for age, then I would label it age, right? And let's see, uh, maybe I'll start from zero, right? And sort of divide this up into tens, right? So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, great. So let's start plotting our box and whiskers. What I like to start to do is just put dots there and then draw in the box and whiskers. So here I'd put in a dot where one of my whiskers is going to end. And here's the other end of that. And Q1 is right here about. Um, 30 is right here the median, and 36.5 is about right here. All right, and so now I know I could, where my boundaries are, I could just draw my box and whiskers. And to help myself, I might just write down 
where Q1 and Q3 is because that's going to help me draw my box. And here's my median, right? Here is my minimum whisker. Here's my maximum whisker. So this would be a box and whisker plot or a box plot for this data set that we have right here. Now let's talk about making box.